My name is Richard Horton and I am editor of The Lancet. At its most simple level, professionalism should be about our attitudes to patients, our attitudes to our role as a doctor. They should be about our values. Why is it that we're in medicine? Believing in equity, freedom of access to care at the point of delivery, these principles of the NHS. And then also our behaviours. How do we act with one another as doctors, but also with other members of the healthcare team? I'm afraid traditionally doctors have sometimes been rather condescending to other members of the healthcare team, not really being part of a team. And that is changing rapidly for a new generation of doctors and will accelerate. So I think it's about attitudes, values and behaviours. And does that extend outside of the workplace? I think of course it does. I mean if you imagine, if you are seeing a patient in a clinic and then the next minute you're completely drunk in a pub and then you fall out of the pub and collapse in a gutter and there's the patient you saw in clinic that same day, I think you're going to feel pretty uncomfortable, maybe, if you can remember what happened. So there it's pretty obvious that your behaviour in the clinic has got to mirror to some degree your behaviour outside of the workplace. That doesn't mean to say it should be policed and it shouldn't be too strict, but there has to be some um, commonality between the two. I think the first thing to say is that right now is a fabulous moment to be a doctor. We've never had better tools to do medicine well. We've never had a better potential to have a truly interactive, equal partnership with patients. And we're now part of a multi-professional team where we can really make a difference, not just in hospitals, but out in the community. So it's a great moment to be a doctor, first and foremost. I think there have been some big changes, though, that actually can work against that. One is the attitude, unfortunately, that the government has had with respect to medical training. Modernising medical careers has been a complete disaster. It's really damaged morale amongst students and young doctors. If you go to any other professional grouping, people coming out of university or out of professional training are often cherished by the very profession that they're going into. I don't think that any young trainee doctor can feel in the last couple of years that they feel, felt cherished by their senior colleagues. So we have to change that culture. I think also it's a very different world with respect to the patient and that takes time to get used to. When I was training 25 years ago, it was still very much a doctor-patient relationship. The doctor was in charge and the patient was really grateful to be seeing the doctor. That's not the way it is now and that's not the way we want it to be. If we're going to have a truly engaged public with healthcare, then the doctor has to be a little bit more humble about his or her place in that partnership. It's much more equal and so it should be. So I think there are big social forces, there are big political forces shaping the role of doctors in the future. But the thing always to remember, I think, is that we have a fantastic heritage, we have a fantastic profession, and we can make a remarkable difference for the lives of ordinary people.